I'm Becky Durham, pastor of Peace Presbyterian Church in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and this is the Wednesday Word for September 26th. It was truly wonderful to be back at church and worshiping with our brothers and sisters this past Sunday at Peace. We are certainly aware, however, that there are many who continue to deal with the difficulties and devastations of Hurricane Florence. At Peace, our session has chosen two local organizations to receive our support. Details are in the midweek email that went out this week. If you haven't subscribed to that list yet, email me at becky.durham00 at gmail.com and I will get you on that list. In short, we will be sending a monetary donation to Cumberland Disaster Recovery Coalition to help them in the work that they will continue to do in our community in the months or even years to come as they clean up from this disaster. And then we will also collect items for Connections of Cumberland County. Connections is a resource in our community for folks who are experiencing homelessness and living in our local shelters. And so we are collecting bottled water and snack foods, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, and paper towels for their day service center in downtown Fayetteville. I went and visited that center today, and I was really impressed with the work and ministry that they are doing there to help women be successful. In the wake of the storm, our shelters are full and the need is great. And that's true of the shelters and organizations that Connections works with. The great thing about these two organizations is that when the post-storm crisis is over and other organizations finish their work, both Cumberland Disaster Recovery Coalition and Connections will still be here working and serving. I've also been contacted by my friend Justin Carter, who is the pastor of Citronelle Memorial Baptist Church in Citronelle, Alabama. They have decided to partner with us in our efforts here, and they plan to send donations in a trailer, and so they're doing that at the end of next week. We will receive them and distribute them on their behalf. Stay tuned for ways to participate in that receiving or distributing. Prayer is vital in the life of any church, but it seems that at peace, we have been given many people to pray for and reasons to pray together. Our passage for this week does have a strong prayer focus, especially for how prayer impacts the work of the church. We are reading James 5, verses 13 through 20 this week. Listen now for the word of God. Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise them up, and anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being like us, and he prayed fervently that it may not rain, and for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth yielded its harvest. My brothers and sisters, if anyone among you wanders from the truth and is brought back by another, you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from wandering will save the sinner's soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please join us this Sunday, September 30th at 11 o'clock a.m. for worship. We have Sunday school at 945 and we share food and fellowship after the worship service each week. If you are looking for a church home or if you need someone who will pray with you or for you, I hope that you will join us. We have some exciting things coming up, like our blessing of the animals on Sunday, October 7th at 3 o'clock in our picnic shelter. If you have two legs or four paws or fins or scales or feathers, you are invited to be there. This week, I pray that you will know the peace of God and the joy of service, and that the Lord will bless you and keep you this day and always.